I've got my uh, Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG and I'm going to change out the supercharger pulley to a uh, smaller diameter. Um, you don't only have to take the clutch or any of that stuff off, just the pulley. I've seen several different ways that people have done it, but I'm going to show you my way, which I think is uh, better than all the other ones that I've seen. It's uh, working a lot smarter rather than harder and still working properly. So uh, the first part of this here is going to be taking the belt off, which uh, 17 millimeter 12 point right here, and uh, take the tension off and pull the belt off. So I will uh, do that when I get a free hand. Okay, so now we've got the belt loose. Uh, the bolt on the front here, it's a 11 sixteenths, or uh, since this is a German car, you know it's metric, so 24 millimeter is the other equivalent. Uh, but I've got 11 sixteenths here, it works just fine. Uh, I've already gotten this uh, loose. I uh, have used the two hose clamp uh, method. You are supposed to use uh, one of these. Um, however, I kept getting slippage, so I went that route. Uh, it's about five and a half inches diameter, so to get one that has a wide range that goes more than that, and you're good to go. I actually had to go buy those, and I had a real hard time getting that loose with just this wrench. So I used a mallet as well. Uh, just put the wrench on here, uh, hit it with the mallet, uh, and that works pretty well. I actually tried just putting a lot of force on it and uh, the whole engine was moving. Uh, so put that on there, use the mallet to smack it, and then uh, got it loose. So uh, next we'll be taking this bolt completely out, which I'll do in a minute, and then we will uh, slide the pulley off. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the bolt here completely out, and this pulley just slides right off. Uh, so there's nothing to that. Now the new pulley. This is a 84 millimeter from Eurocharged. I picked it up used off of somebody at a pretty good price. And uh, only had 1,200 miles on it. So I picked this one up. So this one just slides right back on. At least it's supposed to. Okay, so I ended up getting the pulley back on here. Uh, it was a bit of a struggle there. Not sure completely why, but it slid right off, no problem. And going back on, it wouldn't. So I stuck this pulley in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Uh, ran back out to my shop with it. Slid right on, no problem. So if it won't go back on, uh, maybe your motor's still a little warm like I think mine was and the pulley uh, was cold. Um, heat the pulley up. Bearing and everything, heat it up. Should slide right on. Uh, so next thing up, uh, got the washer down here to put back on there. And the uh, bolt. And that's where we get to the part where uh, my method is a little bit different. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the hose clamps here that we have reversed to the other side here. Uh, so we can turn it the other way and it will uh, stay there. Uh, if you try doing it on that one, it'll probably slip past. So just do it backwards on that one. Uh, one of them is all you really need to get that done. Uh, so I have already tightened this down, but here's where my method differs. Uh, some people will take the motor loose and, uh, and jack it up so they can easily get to it this way. Um, there are several other methods I've seen, um, but I thought let's work smarter, not harder. Ideal scenario is going to be a uh, pigeon foot wrench. Uh, I didn't have one of those. Most people probably don't know what that is. So, uh, along with not having one of those, I went with another method that is pretty easy and will cost you next to nothing to do it. So, here's what we've got. Uh, our 15 16 wrench here goes on the pulley. So that's fine, normal, but we need to torque this to 40 foot-pounds. So what we do is we take this nut and bolt and uh, this guy will go like so 
and none of that's going to stay up there. But so we have the uh, the wrench down here, our nut and bolt go through here this way, and then our torque wrench. Is that 40 foot pounds? Goes right on there. So that's what we end up with. Uh, just put one hand on that end to make sure that it stays on the uh, the nut on the supercharger there, and pull down on this end, obviously to where it's going to put pressure on and tighten it. But you basically have a modified, very large torque wrench, so you can actually get 40 foot pounds very easily. Uh, that nut and bolt probably cost you a little over a dollar. So if you've got a torque wrench and you've already got that, I mean, I had to go buy a wrench and. The, uh, the wrench, the nut, and the bolt were seven bucks and to make sure that I do this right. So there you go. That is what I feel to be the best way of getting that back in and torqued. And I haven't done anything but take that belt loose. You don't have to do anything else with the motor. It's way easier that way using things you've probably already got or very inexpensive to get. So uh, next thing is going to be putting the belt back on, which goes reverse of how you took it off. All right, so now we've got the belt back on. Uh, some notes uh, on what I've used here. Uh, this is a 5 8 bolt, uh, and then the head is 13 16 is the way that works out. So 5 8 nut and bolt. Sure, you can find the better. It doesn't really matter. It's only got to go that far. And uh, something else you may want to do to prevent uh, scuffing, marking. Like, see right there, I've got some marks from when I did the two. Um, I didn't have the tape on the inside there, but if you have tape or something else on the inside of the clamp to kind of help insulate that, will prevent marring. Uh, so from there, uh, because this is a smaller pulley, we want to reprogram, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, but that is what I feel to be the best way to swap out a pulley, uh, be it a uh, factory replacement or an upgrade.